So the second option you get for a button in the button parameter mapper is if time moving disable the button or if time moving enable the button. So if I have time moving a parameter like this, it's currently moving, do I want to enable the button again or disable it? So if I hit this in the middle of it moving with it enabled, it will just perform the action again. Whereas if I disable it, it will ignore when I hit that button. It disables the button essentially until it's um, until it's done. There's the second time option here. Ignore mode if time action this sounds complicated. Um, it, so what it all what it is is basically if it's the same thing as oh that unmapped. Oh gosh, technical difficulties. It's okay. What ignore mode does is if the um if this button is currently moving disable other buttons versus allow mode says if the time action is in progress listen to the new button action so if i have a second button here and i have listen mode enabled and this time action is moving it'll listen to the second button that says set it at 25 percent and i'll set it there Versus if I have ignore mode on and I do the time action again, this button just gets ignored. Won't listen to it. It's like, nope, sorry, we're, we're moving over time and you can't stop me. Unless, unless, until the, the, until the time's, you know, done moving. Um, yeah, I figured some users would want the option to do it. I could see different use cases for live performance where you would want it one way or the other, so... Yeah.